What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to week one of WBE VGC. I'm very excited to play guys, like I, I honestly am super happy I got invited to it. We drafted a really cool team, if you guys want to see what my team draft was, you can go ahead and see the video that was a, a couple videos back, I'll put it up on screen right now. Um, but, week one we're facing Kyle A, the coach of the Miami Dom fans and also the champion of last season of WBE. That, but that was singles. It wasn't VGC. So I'm hoping that uh, his skills don't exactly transfer over to VGC quite as well. But I will tell you guys, Kyle A is one of the best preppers I have ever seen in Pokemon. Like, he uses some wacky stuff to counter team you. Like, one time I saw him run Bubble Beam, Alolan, Marowak to sit to hit something on its special defensive side a little bit harder than it would have on the physical defensive side. It was a little bit weird, but it worked really well. So I'm really excited uh, to face him today. Hopefully our VGC skills will come out on top. Uh, but before we get into that match... Do me a favor, leave a like if you are hyped for WBE, and if you guys want to support the team, you can get Chicago Black Flock merch in the link in the description down below. Hopefully mine will come in by next week so I can have it for the next video, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I think it's really cool. Hats are coming soon, by the way. Uh, so yeah, prior to the match, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a recap, or a little bit of like what my prep was for this match and why I chose the Pokemon I did. Uh, so yeah, also, just saying, Kyle is like... He, he lives like 10 minutes from me, so this could have been one of the first WB, or like the first WBE match to be done in person. Unfortunately, social distancing is a thing right now, so we can't exactly do that, but that would have been actually hilarious. So, I'm going to go over what I brought this week. I ended up going with the team of Venusaur, Gigantamax Charizard, Togepi, don't ask, Togepi is actually fire, uh, <laughs> Slowking, Klefki, and Mudsdale. And basically the entire idea here is uh, his team is entirely Charizard food. Let me let me read out what his team is. He has one Pokemon that can eat a hit from Charizard really well, but besides that, nothing else really does. His draft was Alola Marowak, Tangrowth, Gudra, Gardevoir, Vikavolt, Porygon, Crocodile, Dusknoir, Dunsparce, and Caparaja. Everything on that list except for Gudra drops to Charizard. So, how are we going to punch through that Gudra? Well, we do have Dragon Pulse in the Charizard, and with Solar Power, it will be doing a lot, but I'm pretty certain that that's what's going to be Dynamaxing here. Oh, and also his G-Max is Urshifu Rapid Strike, which is terrifying, so we have to be careful with that. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, basically, everything's Charizard food except for the Tangrowth, or except for the Gardevoir. So, why can't I speak? The Gudra! The Gudra! It's, it's the Gudra, Marcos! <laughs> We're punching a hole in that uh, by hopefully getting a Trick Room off and a Belly Drum with the Slow King. He does have the ability Oblivious, which will keep him from getting intimidated. And on top of that, it will make it easy to get the Trick Room off because you can't actually taunt this Pokemon. And at plus six, this thing's Max Hailstorm will knock out a Gudra in one hit. And with a Helping Hand and Zen Headbutt will knock out the Marowak. Now, I did EV this thing, so it always lives a uh, Max Attack... Poltergeist from Marowak if it's holding the Thick Club and if I'm Dynamax, which is really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited to uh, to use this thing. We're running Sunny Day, Player Off, Safeguard, Reflect, Klefki. Uh, it has Prankster and Light Clay, so it's going to be really easy to get that Reflect off. And the Safeguard is meant to stop a possible Sleep Powder coming off from Chlorophyll Tangrowth, which is something I would expect from Kyle because he's really good at prepping and he knows I have a Sun team, so I have to be real careful with that. We have a Trick Room Attacker and Slow Dancer, our Mudsdale. High Horsepower, Rock Slide, Heavy Slam, Body Press, Stamina, Assault Vest, pretty standard. We're running this Focus Ash Togepi with Follow Me, Helping Hand, Yawn, and Charm. It's actually really nice for um, being able to redirect hits, especially since you get two free uh, with that Focus Ash. We're running Krakatawa, Solar Power, Charizard, Speed Crept, 4 Jolly, Max Speed, Urshifu, uh, which only saves us a couple of points that we can put into HP, but besides that, it's like Max Special Attack. And we're running a Venusaur that is Speed Crept for, was it Timid? Max Speed Gardevoir with a Choice Scarf, as long as we're under Sun. We will always outspeed that, which means we also have a significant amount of bulk, which is really, really cool. So yeah, I will see you guys in the battle. I'm very excited to get this going. Okay, we are back. We are getting ready for this match. I had to wait a little bit, because uh, we had a little bit of a technical error, but we're back. We're going to be doing the Series 5 rules, and if you didn't know, this is a best of three. VGC 2020 is played in a best of three format. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited about this, and we are facing last year's champion. So we're going to go ahead and play the champion theme. I'm, I'm pretty nervous, to be honest. Kyle's a really good player, uh, and even if he's not like the most experienced in VGC, I, I'm expecting a big challenge ahead of me, so let's get into it. This is going to be tough. <laughs> this is actually going to be really tough. I think my main issue is getting rid of Gudra, and then once Gudra's gone, everything's just Charizard food, and I can start winning. 
But yeah, my main concern is Gudra. Uh, more than anything else in this team, to be honest. He's taking a minute. <sighs> Stretching. I, w I was uh, I was out last night. <laughs> so I, I got home around like 11. And Kyle's like, let's do this. Let's, let's record this. And I'm like, yeah. Then my dad walks in. He's like, hey, I need you to unload a truck full of branches. And I go, what? <laughs> I have to do something right now. And he goes, yeah, just, just unload it. It won't take too long. So about an hour and a half later, <laughs> I'm free. And he actually brought a pretty different team from what I was expecting. Uh, he's not going with like a chlorophyll anything. Uh, however, I'm pretty certain that's going to be physical sap sipper Gudra with rock slide, which I'm slightly concerned about. I'm also a little bit concerned about the Marowak now. Uh, it looks like he's going to be attempting a trick room mode to win this game, so I can kind of counter trick room him. I'm going to expect a lead that wants to deal with Charizard Klefki. So in anticipation of that, I kind of want to go slow king on the lead. Yeah, I kind of want to go, like, Slow King Togepi on the lead. Maybe go Trick Room this first game to try to try to punch a hole in his offense. is going to be really nice. Um, and since we're probably going hard Trick Room, I, I think I can go Klefki. I think I can go Klefki. I'm a little bit... I'm kind of leaning towards Charizard for the end game, like, once Trick Room's over. But that's kind of that's kind of scary. So I'll go Klefki for the screens and whatnot. It could be useful. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous. If he trick rooms up, I'm just going to belly drum and follow me. And then I get free kills. <laughs> I just get free kills, man. Kyle Bay, dude. Alright. Urshifu Dusk Noir. Now that is, that is slightly concerning, but... I think I'm okay with this? Maybe not. Maybe not. Because he's going to go... That Urshifu is going to be really scary. I might be able to belly drum up right here. Bro, I might just go hard for the belly drum. I might go hard belly drum here. Because I will mess up that Urshifu pretty bad. Let me belly drum and follow me here. Yeah, I think that's my play. Bro, am I going to get this belly drum? I think I got the belly drum off. Let me follow me up. Togepi, be our savior. Sunny side up. Do this thing, man. Do it, sunny side up. You got this, man. If he G-maxes that Urshifu, I'm going to be so happy. And I'm really hoping for this trick room, man. There's the surging strikes. If this man poltergeisted, I'm I'm in big trouble, man. We eat all of those Togepi, you freaking mad lad! <laughs> oh, you got this, man. <laughs> Togepi, you monster! And now he can't poltergeist us either. Disgusting! Absolutely disgusting! Shout out to Togepi, the real MVP of this match. Let's get going, dude. Let's get going. Helping hand. We're going to destroy this Dusk Noir. We are destroying this Dusk Noir, dude. Oh my god. Yes. I'm so happy this is working. <laughs> he ate every hit. Every single hit. Togepi is just like, I don't care. I don't even care, dude. And you know he's got you know he's got poltergeist on that thing, so I am now poltergeist immune. I didn't calc for the Dusknar one shot, I calced for the Marowak one shot, but I think plus six max mindstorm with a helping hand. I think that's gonna do it. Bro, it's time. It's happening, Captain. Give me this trick room. I will take this trick room and I will take this game. <laughs> G 
get him out of here, dude. I don't even care about the Urshifu. Urshifu doesn't have anything for this thing. If you had Dark Urshifu, I'd be concerned. There's that Rock Slide. Togepi, eat that. Aw. Well, Togepi, did your part. Time to get the Klefki in. Get these screens up. Or maybe the Mudsdale. I think Klefki's going to net me a little bit more here. Or maybe the Mudsdale. I'll go Mudsdale because it gives me more pressure versus the Marowak, which is what I expect to come in. I don't really mind not having Reflect. There's the Vikavolt. Oh, that thing's gone. That thing's gonzo, bro. Alright. I think I have to deal with the Mike with the Vikavolt. Let me max Mindstorm. And actually I think I'm gonna go hard into the uh Klefki now. Cause I expect a surging strikes and I should be able to get off like a reflect or something. A little something something, you know? A little something something for his trouble. I mean, I could have rock slid, but I don't want to have to deal with the surging strikes. And I also can't not I, I also can't not KO that Vikavolt. If it Dynamaxes here, I'm kind of in trouble. And Klefki's max physical defense, so it could definitely take the surging strikes pretty handily. I'm expecting a max guard. Max guard would make the most sense here. Alright. He's slower? No way. No way. What? That's like Iron Ball. That's gotta be Iron Ball, dude. Well. This has been a revelation. That is most definitely going to be an Iron Ball Vikavolt. Terrified, actually. Alright, well I can take this. I think we lose this first game now because of that. Which is a little bit annoying. Um, I think to beat him game 2... I can actually probably go Charizard Klefki, just because he's expecting the, because he's expecting the, um, the Trick Room lead. And I think here is probably a good time to forfeit, considering there's no way we're KOing that Vikavolt, and the Urshifu has a lot of pressure versus us. Or maybe there is a way we can KO the, the Urshifu. Let me see what I can do here. Um... We are Assault Vest, so we can take a hit. I think if I High Horsepower and Play Rough, I should be good to go, but I'm likely going to lose the, um... I'm likely going to lose the Mud Sail first. There's the Overgrowth, so I can take that. And he is, he is most definitely Iron Ball. Dang, dude, that's such a crazy adjustment. And now we've revealed Stamina. Gonna be doing about half. Player up should pick up the KO from this range. Yeah, alright. So I want to see what his last Pokemon is. We also now know he's carrying max overgrowth, so I'm trying to gain as much information as I can from these plays. If I had light screen, I would go for it here, but we do not. We also have no way to max guard. There's the Gudra, okay. So Gudra's gonna be scary, dude. Gudra's gonna be very scary. Hmm. Let's try to get some info on the Gudra. So I'm gonna play rough into it. Maybe we'll catch an item or something. We know the item on the Vikavolt. We didn't see an item on the Urshifu though, which is a little bit concerning. I don't believe we did. Yeah, it was at full health, so it wasn't Life Orb. It could possibly focus. It could possibly be Focus Sash, which would be very scary. All right. So let me think. How do I adjust for game two? There's 
There's the overgrowth. It's gonna KO the Mudsdale here. I'm just hoping to catch an item on the Gudra. Maybe a weakness policy or something. Just so we can identify it. That does a lot, which is really nice to know. Thunderbolt, that's probably gonna chaos. Not quite. So we do know some items here. Alright, so we're gonna forfeit game one. So we did manage to take the first game, but I think I have enough information now where I can adjust. So we're gonna run here. Alright. Bro. For real, though. For real, the man carried the Iron Ball. But we also know that because it's Iron Ball, it's either Iron Ball or Power Weight. I'm going to guess Iron Ball, because I think that nets you the most speed drop. Um, He's probably not ground immune now. He's probably not ground immune. I don't want to make that risk, though, so I don't think I'd be going for anything too crazy. All right. So let me think. Hmm. Is Togepi still the play? Because the Togepi ate every hit from that freaking... <laughs> it ate every hit, dude. I might lead off Klefki Charizard here. Yeah, I might lead off Klefki Charizard and bring Togepi in the back to help deal with that, um, that Vikavolt. Because if he gets Trick Room off, it's going to be a huge issue for me. Maybe not, though. Maybe that's not my play. Maybe I can go, like, Klefki Venusaur. And, I, actually, Klefki Venusaur doesn't seem bad on the lead. Because it helps me stop the Trick Room, and there isn't much that Urshifu can do versus Venusaur, especially if I Dynamax it. So Klefki, Venusaur, Mudsdale seemed pretty solid, to be honest. Just based on, like, how that first match went, Mudsdale actually was able to do some work, even in the endgame, when things were starting to drop. Charizard in the back seems so good, though. It really does, but he's very, he's very, very prepped for Charizard. So I might go Mudsdale here. And it's between, it's between Klefki, or Togepi and Charizard here. It is, is definitely between those two. Um, he could also be like Lumberry or Safety Goggles on that Dusk Noir, which is pretty concerning. So maybe I should just go for a KO. That's also a, a thing I have to consider here. I'm thinking... I think Togepi is probably the best play. Yeah. I told you guys, Kyle A is someone who preps very hard. Alright, Marowak Dusknoir. I'm actually pretty okay with that lead. Should be easy to get my Sleep Powder off. But I, have to be, I also have to be very careful. Because um, if this Duskmore is carrying some kind of safety goggles, that could be an issue. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the Trick Room go up. And I think I'm just going to play inside the Trick Room. I'm really concerned about this. I'm going to play within the Trick Room. And hopefully the Stamina Boost still will give me a little bit of help here. Because he should protect the Marowak here. I think every time he would protect the Marowak. As he Dynamaxes. Yeah, that's gonna that kind of tells me that it's most likely uh, Goggles Dusk Noir. Alright, 
this Reflect will help me take the hit, but not very well. I'm going to have to Dynamax this uh, Mudsdale, I think. There's the Max Flare. It's going to hurt real bad. Oh, not too bad, though. Not too bad. And we get that Defense Boost, too. Beautiful. And I'm going to go for my Safeguard here and Dynamax up. Give me that Trick Room, dude. Give me that Trick Room. So I'm assuming uh, that here he would go for a Will-O-Wisp, so I'm going to Safeguard up and start to go for these Max Quakes to boost my Special Defense. And hopefully I avoid... Oh my god, if he's running Ally Switch, I'm going to lose it. I'd be so upset if I get Ally Switched right here. Because then I don't even get the Special Defense boost. I'm thinking he has to Will-O-Wisp. He saw from that previous game, I'm, most, I'm pretty obviously uh, the Assault Vest item, so I think Willowis was probably in his mind right now. And even though we're in the sun and that is a Marowak, I should take this hit relatively well. hate this so much, dude. At least he's not Levitate. I'm going to have to remove that sun. Alright, that does a chunk, which is really nice. There's the Max Flare. Into the Klefki, that's fine. I'm going to be able to get in my, um... Oh, we take that like a champ, dude. Yeah, let me max Rockfall onto this Marowak. And I kind of want to go hard Togepi. Because behind a Reflect, I take every hit. And I also have Charm. So we'll do that. We'll go hard Togepi. We might need to set up the Sun again in the endgame, so I'm going to keep my uh, Klefki alive. And honestly, once this Dynamax is gone, Marowak's, or like his entire team is a lot easier to deal with. And he has no way of preventing me from removing his son. Alright, that does a chunk. We're going to lower the damage output. And we now have Helping Hand. Critical hit. Um, shouldn't matter too much. It was always going to be a two-shot, but it is a little bit annoying for him, I'm sure. There's the Nightshade. We don't have that much HP, so that's actually a huge chunk. More than the Surging Strikes, funny enough. Eat it, Togepi. Eat it. You beautiful monster. Alright, as his Dynamax ends, now we have a lot of pressure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove his um, his son once more by going for that Max Rockfall into the Marowak slot. And I'm also going to... He could ally switch, which would be annoying. You know, I'm not even concerned about Marowak so much as I am the Dustmar, so I'll, I'll rock slide into that. Or I'll max rock fall into that, and I'll actually go for a charm. Yeah. That's my safest play, because I, I remove the sun, I'm behind a reflect, and I'm also going to be knocking out the Dustmar to, re to prevent any ally switches. And Togepi might even survive, which is incredible. There it is. There's the Flare Blitz. Let's see how much we take. Togepi! <laughs> Can you live? Ah, that would have been so... That would have been so freaking awesome. Togepi, you monster. All right. All right, um, I'm going to have to save this thing, aren't I? I'll go into Venusaur because I can protect and rock slide. 
This is a close game, though. I took a lot of damage on my Mudsdale, more than I'm comfortable with. And the Trick Room's gone in a couple of turns here, like one or two. I think it's one more turn of Trick Room I can take advantage of, so the Rock Slide's going to be really nice. But the thing is, he's definitely Sap Sipper Gudra. I'm going to Rock Slide here. It's my safest play. We have one more turn at Trick Room. So, I don't want to go Klefki yet. I'm going to Sludge Bomb Gudra for some damage. Because I have a lot of bulk, I should take every hit from the Gudra. Alright, we don't miss anything. We might get a flinch too. It does a significant chunk of damage. There's the flinch. Yes. We get some damage off too. Can I get a poison? Hey, okay. Okay. We're, we're going somewhere here. And with that, I think I should be able to win, even if there is a um, Urshfu in the back, because I would just let my Mudsdale go down, and I can Dynamax, or I can Sunny Day to, to beat it, pretty much. I haven't even had to protect my Venusaur yet. So I still have that Protect option. And I believe we still have a turn of uh, Reflect, but it, it wouldn't matter too much, because there's definitely a Vika Volt in the back. Which we're faster than, funny enough. Yeah, there's the Vika Volt, so we still, we're still still faster than that, so we can Rock Slide it. So I'm going to Rock Slide here, and I'm going to attempt a Sleep Powder on the Vika Volt. Since we 100% know we're faster. We also get to gauge the Gudra speed here, which is really nice for game three. There's the protect, that's fine. I shouldn't lose either of my mons here. Acid spray, that's a little bit annoying. But that isn't too bad. Because as long as I connect my rock slide, we should KO this thing. Yeah. Alright, we're good. So the sand plus the poison will do it. And we're going to attempt another Sleep Powder. We also saw that um, that Gudra is slower than our Venusaur, even though we don't have much speed investment. And we're no longer protected by Safeguard. So let me Rock Slide here. Go for that Sleep Powder. So we saw Acid Spray and Thunderbolt so far, so I think I'm pretty certain that's going to be Assault Vest Gudra. I'm not certain if it has Sap Sipper would make the most sense. Alright. This has been a crazy set, dude. Alright. Let's see if, uh, I mean, Togepi is definitely pulling its weight, dude. Togepi's freaking disgusting. Alright, and we'll let the battle begin. Whew, okay. Let me think here. He he definitely likes the Dust Noir on the lead. He feels comfortable under Trick Room. But Mudsdale puts in so much work versus his team, he can't ignore it. And under screens, it's very difficult to deal with. And I'm still a little bit nervous about going for Sleep Powder on that Dust Noir to stop the Trick Room. Because we saw we saw literally, literally Iron Ball on the Vika Volt. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a stretch to say he's running Safety Goggles Dust Noir to prevent Trick Room. Or to prevent me from stopping the Trick Room. So the question is, how do I play around that? How do I stop that? I definitely think Mudsdale does disgusting damage versus him. I think this is the game I actually lead Klefki Charizard. 
because even though he's very prepped for it, I don't think he has a way of absolutely preventing me from knocking him out. And then Togepi in the back. And Mudsdale. I think that's how I play this last game. If he ends up leading off with the Dust Noir, I 100% have to... Um, I 100% have to Dynamax and uh, KO it. But if he doesn't lead off Dust Noir, I should be able to um, get in Mudsdale for free and Reflect. So that's how we play this. We play this a lot like the first game, but instead of having to risk a Sleep Powder, we just attempt to KO. Like, Venusaur was good and all, but... I think we got this, dude. This is gonna be scary, though. Every game has been a freaking roller coaster. Gudra Marowak, yes, okay. So we know for a fact he probably has Rock Slide in the Gudra. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to attempt to... I'm gonna do essentially what we did game one, but I'm gonna get a huge stamina boost from this turn. I'm gonna reflect up. We're getting a huge stamina boost here. He should always carry Rock Slide if he's prepping for Charizard. Let's see it, dude. Show me the Rock Slide. Give me the stamina boost. And I'm really hoping that's Dynamax Gudra. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Let's freaking get it. And if he max Rock Falls, I'm in such a good position. I'm going to be in such a good position if this man max, max Rock Falls. Reflect up. We know for a fact I take the hit from the... from the Marowak. There's that max lightning. And there's the Stone Edge. <sighs> yes. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Let's remove that Gudra from the field right now. We actually didn't see a grass move from the Gudra. So maybe I actually just remove the Marowak and get up some sand. I think I'm going to max quick the Marowak. And I'm going to get in the Togepi. Togepi, you monster. It's been pulling its weight every single game. Who am I hitting with this Max Quake? Dustmore? That's fine, dude. Now, he could Max Dragon, which would be annoying, but I think I'm fine with that. Because Charizard in the endgame, if we can remove the Scoodra, is actually going to be really nice. And I'm also carrying Body Press on my Mero or on my, um, on my Mudsdale, so I, I don't care too much about my attack, except for beating these ghost types. And neither of the ghost types really like Charizard. There's the Max Hailstorm. We're gonna eat that up. Eat it up. Dude, eat it up like Reese's Puffs. We get the stamina boost. Oh, this body press is gonna hurt late game. How much is this doing? I'm going to have to helping hand it. No, nah, no, nah, I don't even got a helping hand it. I'm just going to follow me. Because by following me, I also prevent the uh, Max Dragon move from hurting me. Bro, Togepi's pulling its weight so hard, dude. Let me Max Quake once more and follow me. Because the Max Quake will always knock out this Dust Noir. And if he does go for the... Um, if he does go for the dragon move, it will be follow me into Togepi, so I don't lose my attack. But actually, I don't think he's carrying a dragon move. Now that I think about it, he's revealed a couple of things. He's revealed... What was it? It was Acid Spray, Thunderbolt. Acid Spray, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. And he hasn't revealed a dragon move, so I'm assuming he's probably in there somewhere. Togepi... Togepi, come on, man. You're unkillable, except for the two times you, you got KO'd, but it's cool. It's cool, man. You're pulling your weight. It's all good. Alright. So 
So here's where I here's where I play some mind games. He should be going for another max ooze, expecting it to go into the Togepi. So I'm going to max quake into the Dust Noir and get in my Klefki. Yeah, that's my play. I max quake the Dust Noir for another special defense boost and I get in the Klefki to preserve the Togepi for the end game so I can follow me later on. Because he should be going for a poison move here. Uh, everything in my body needs to crack right now. I'm so stressed for this match. And people said Togepi was a bad pick. Look at it be the MVP of this match. I mean, Mudsdale's actually the MVP, but Togepi's enabling everything to do its job, dude. Ally switch again. Something's dying. He has no switch to this. And if Urshifu's in the back, it drops to Air Slash. There's the Dust Noir switching out. Can it be the Marowak? Oh, it's the Vigavolt. Let's see if it was actually Iron Ball. Let's see what it was. We're also faster, so I can just follow me Rock Slide this next turn. Oh, no, I can't, because <laughs> there's a Klefki. But I can just, you know, hit it. Yeah, there's the Acid Spray. And he is Iron Ball, so that is not a switch in. Everything drops to Rock Slide. Mudsdale, you monster. Shout out to Slow Dancer, dude. I wish you could show the nicknames, dude. Boo Boo Keys and Slow Dancer, iconic duo. As long as we don't get any un un um, unfortunate crits, I think I got this game locked down. So I'm going to Rock Slide here, and I can also play rough. But it might be in my best interest to actually uh, safeguard to prevent a... Oh, are you kidding me? Did he... Bro. Oh my god. The disconnect. Alright, well I'm gonna play rough. Who disconnected? I think that was on his side. He just sent me GG, so I think maybe he was he was going to forfeit anyways. Me? F. Do you think I got that win, though? I think I got that win, to be honest. But I'm a little bit upset it ended that way. I'm a little bit upset it ended with a disconnect. That's a little bit disappointing, man. Because honestly, like, I think I was fine. I did have the Rock Slide. I did have Klefki. I had four Mons. I think I was in a winning position. Especially with that Mud Sail at, like, plus whatever. Hit my desk and it came out the dock. Oof. And he has Wired Connection on. Oh, no. Alright, yeah, but he is going to forfeit to the W. Bro, that was crazy. Alright, well, uh... <laughs> I guess that's it for week one of WBE VGC. Uh, if I do end up getting in this post-game call with Kyle, uh, I will see you guys over there. But do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, shout out to Togepi for pulling its freaking weight. That was insane, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next Kyle. one. Yo. That match. Like, like, what, like <laughs> no. Like, GG's. Here, here, here's the thing. I don't even have to talk to you like I'm a YouTube guy because like, I've met you. We've talked. Yeah. That entire set was literally like i was i was going through it like game one i thought i won turn one i was popping off i thought you won turn one dude and then you revealed freaking iron ball and i go wow all right well that that's that's how that goes you know like i was sitting there and i saw you on the lead and i was like oh dude i got togepi next to next to slow king on the lead i don't even have to set up my own trick room i can just belly drum up and if he trick rooms i'm good to go and if he doesn't i know togepi eats these hits so I was like, okay, I got this. And then Vikavolt came in and I'm like, time to get rid of that. So I helping handed my max, uh, my, um, my max <laughs> Mindstorm. And then he just went first and I go, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, okay. So I, I literally clicked trick room thinking that you might click, that you might click trick room. So I was like, all right, let me untrick room his trick room. Yeah. And then you, that's why you clicked belly drama. I was like, fuck me. Like, dude, <laughs> I was like, I, I'm about to get bodied. Like, honestly, if you didn't have that, that um 
the iron ball, it, it would have been, it would have been game. So I was, I was like in my, in my pregame, I was like, dude, I, Kyle doesn't play that much VGC, but he plays a lot of draft. And I know for a fact, if there is something that he can do to prepare, like running bubble beam, Alola Marowak in that one league a few years ago, <laughs> yeah, like he's yeah, going to do it. So when I saw, <laughs> when I saw the iron ball, I wasn't even mad. I'm like, he brought it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, that's me. Yeah, but um, w- <laughs> one thing that I, I was like really scared of game two because I let off Venusaur, I was like, if if this man's rocking Iron Ball to counter my Trick Room, there is no way he's not running like Lumberry or Safety Goggles on the Dust Noir. Uh, Safety Goggles, Dust Noir, Lumberry, Alowak. There it is. Yeah. All right. I was confused, like why why Alowak didn't pick up KOs. Yeah. I, I was like. Hold on, am I supposed to eat that that well? Because I was I was doing some <laughs> practice games with um with Jamie Keen, and I oh, remember yeah, yeah. behind a reflect, I took like sixty percent from Max Flare on my Mudsdale. Yeah, I I went with the berry instead, um, because I was like, I don't know, You're basically prepping for sun. Try yeah, you know, trying trying to do something, um, trying not to get put to sleep, like, but uh. No, it's it was, it was good, man. And then, bro, why'd you have to crit me, bro? And then, and you flinched me. <laughs> yeah, game two, there was there was some luck there. I was oh, say, mad. dude. I what what were you going for with with the uh, were you going for like ice beam on the Venusaur? Ah, uh, what what'd you ask me if I was ice beaming? Were you ice beaming Venusaur? Uh, I'd have to watch it back. I believe so. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I clicked hailstorm. Um, game. Th- Three, yeah, because that that was the game that I maxed Gudra. I think game two, yeah. yeah, I was going for it, and then uh, and then you were also doing good at removing the the sun that I had set for Max Flare too. Like you would get up the sand and weaken my move, and then I would hit, and the sun goes back up, and I'm like, dude. yeah, dude, I was like, I was like, I I can't let the sun stay up because originally I was like, sun's my best friend, and then I saw Trick Room, and I was like, sun is literally my worst enemy here. I'm gonna lose my bonds. <laughs> the fact that Togepi literally took like. Like Togepi never got one shot. Togepi eaten. Like it was, I was sitting there and I was like, "Oh, we're gonna take a surging strikes here." Togepi's going down. And That's what it, I thought. And then it ate the whole thing. I was like, "Hold on, since when do eggs eat things?" Bro, how thought, did you live that? I thought we were eating eggs. Like, nah, that, <laughs> that was, I was the thing, dude. Like that entire set was wacky. Yeah, no, it was, it was definitely wild, man. It was, it was fun though. And then I'm, I'm sorry about the. Man, okay, let me tell you about this DC, bro. So I uh so I like hit my desk because I like I was like, ah, damn it, because you read me like Playboy magazine, bro, on the, on, on the opening turn. Yeah. And then uh I was like, ah, all right, he got it. And then my switch, like I get when I hit my desk, it like my switch like came out of like my dock. Mm-hmm. Oh, like it bounced. And then yeah, and I have uh, LAN adapter, so I was yeah. on like a wire connection because, like, on my video, like I'm, I look up and it's like giving me the the shit, like my Elgato disconnected. And I was like, oh no, 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 no! Oh. And then I like plug it back in, and it's like communication lost. And I was like, oh, and I was like, I didn't rage quit. I didn't rage quit. Dude, I was sitting there. I was like, there's no way Kyle rage quit. Kyle, Kyle doesn't yeah. rage quit, dude. Um, unless it's Smash. I don't know. I think I saw you do that <laughs> once in Smash. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I may have done it before in smash bro uh but what was it like i was um game game three i was pretty certain i was i was in a winning position there because while well, i was like plus three on mudsdale with uh with an assault vest on it so i was like he can ice beam me but i think my klefki i couldn't remember if my klefki outsped you or not so I, I was making a really tough decision there i was like i have two options i either always live the ice beam and just safeguard to cover for a possible freeze and then rock slide or I can just play rough and risk being not being faster than him. So I think in the end I ended up clicking like safeguard because I was the only thing I had to worry about. There was a crit pretty much. Cause I was like, I, I just want to remove the chance of a freeze. So I was going to safeguard up. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So I was, I was basically saying I was like in, in my video, I was like, yeah, I mean, he had it. Um, there's the only two things really that I, that I could have had, um was uh, yeah hit, hitting a crit obviously you know ignoring stats and screens but um i had parish song on a little marowak so i was like if i can just get if i can click that move i can kill it in front of me but uh once you i think whenever it dc'd i only had two mods left so i think i would have like double suicided unless i did have something in the back still i don't even remember i think you only had a lola whack in the back but 
I don't think I, I don't think you would be able to stall it out because it would just be between the Alolawak and the Gudra, and I had, I think yeah. I still had all four Mons. I, I think you did too. Yeah, because I think you switched out Togepi. Yeah, because I I had saved Togepi because my my end game there was like he's going to go for a poison move expecting to follow me. So I have to get in Klefki here and then I can save Togepi for one last follow me in the end game if I need it. Yeah, man, you were making the plays, bro. Like I, what you, you nailed it when you described me, I was like, man, I don't know shit about VGC. Like I, I I'm trying to learn it, but uh, I think it's sick, but yeah, I like, I know drafts. So, like I know how to like build stuff and like think of like creative things to do, but Dude, when uh, I, I'm still trying to learn the, the format. So it's, yeah, when I was prepping for fun. you, I, I was prepping for someone who who was going to bring literally like a direct counter to anything I was going to bring. And that's draft. But like versus you in particular, it's like it means so much more because <laughs> like just because you run the wackiest stuff to get to get out of a situation. So I was I was sitting there and I was I was talking to Jamie and I was talking to my front office. I was like, guys, is he going to run chlorophyll on on Tangrowth to counter my son? And, and they just <laughs> they just kind of just kind of scratch their heads. They go damn he might <laughs> yeah and i had uh well i had trace gardevoir for chlorophyll were you um oh okay that's what you were gonna do because i was i was concerned my my venusaur has a ton of bulk on it uh basically it's only it's modest with enough speed for scarf gardevoir under sun trace gardevoir was something i didn't even consider yeah we were about to be fast girl <laughs> <laughs> that would have been <laughs> disgusting dude <laughs> but yeah. uh Going into, I I think if if game if game two, because I think the the way game two ended, I was like, okay, game three, I'm I'm running back game two. I'm gonna try and do it. I was like, I'm gonna bring the same mods because I I think that there was a chance there. Um, I think if if you would have like four owed me game two, I'd have probably brought that game three maybe, and then tried to try to flip it up. I'm not sure. I I, I can't say what I would have done without knowing, but. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about probably. VGC. That's the thing about VGC, because we play, like, a best-of-three format. Like, or I guess that's just Pokemon in general. Like, as soon as something goes wrong, you can't really say exactly how it would have ended up, because your entire mindset shifts as soon as, right. like, a flinch a flinch happens, right? So, like, if, if I were, like, to get flinched one game, I'd be like, well, it would have been... It would have gone differently, because I would have done this and that, and you would have done that. And then, from that point on, you're like, hold on. So many other things like, could have yeah, happened. I mean it's like uh yeah man because i was like i was like game two i got i got crit and then i got flinched and then i got poisoned and then i died to sand and poison i was like i didn't get to play <laughs> dude i was mostly concerned about uh gudra and prep i'm not gonna lie like I, I was looking at your team i was like this entire team is is charizard food except for the gudra so one, <laughs> once i get rid of gudra charizard can start eating so like everything like the entire reason i brought belly drum slow king is because at plus six the ice punch chaos oh that's what's up that that was the entire point of Belly Drum Sloking. There was nothing else past that. The the rest was just kind of like icing on the cake. Uh but like that that's the entire point I brought physical sloking was just the Gudra. And then you Dynamax you didn't Dynamax Gudra for the first two games, and I go, I might have messed up. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, but th this was a really fun set. I I'm glad I got to play you week one. Yeah, man. No, it was fun. GG's, man. I'm yeah. yeah, no, you're you're a monster so i was i was hyped to play you anyways because i was like yeah i i played you uh we played in singles obviously before so I was yeah like, now i'm in uh, i'm in his territory now so I, I think the only thing i impressed you with in singles and i remember this in particular because i went back and watched the match after after you bodied me i had drafted <laughs> like a galisopod right and i think that the only thing i did right was i always got a spike off at the perfect time like i would just spike at the perfect time like you would switch i would spike you'd go for yeah no like you were a, making good reads but I, I can't I can't draft in singles for the life of me. It's 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 a lot different. It's yeah. definitely different. But it's uh it's cool, man. Yeah, I'm trying to learn this best of three because I did a doubles league in Gen eight too, but it was it was still six v six just doubles. Yeah. So it's like like doubles. OU. It wasn't basically yeah like it wasn't like actual VGC. So mm -hmm. I'm a uh, I'm excited though to learn, man. I'm, I'm gonna try. So I'm keep kicking ass make playoffs i'm gonna I'm try yeah I'm a, I, I gotta defend the, the title man i was hoping to see you in playoffs yeah oh <laughs> one more thing I, I was talking about this right before the match started i was like i'm pretty sure kyle a like when i'm at university lives like five minutes from me so this could have hypothetically have been the only land wbe match ever <laughs> yeah no that's true just a land match right there uh 
See, that would have been funny because what would have happened is like I would have gotten that flinch and then like in the background of my video, you can just hear very faintly like just someone just cursing out real loud <laughs> like across the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd dude. be me. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it was real fun playing you. Uh, hopefully we get to play each other in playoffs and I wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season, dude. Hey, same to you, bro. GG's, right. man. So guys, go sub to Kyle. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.